The Church of England has set an ambitious target to reach net zero carbon by 2030 across the whole of its estate. In February 2020, the Church of England Synod passed a resolution that it would move towards net zero carbon by 2030. And that resolution included about 3,000 Church of England schools. So there's a real challenge there with how in that decade those 3,000 Church of England schools could move to net zero carbon. Schools have an important role to play in all aspects of sustainability, including reducing our environmental footprint. UK schools account for over half of local authority carbon emissions. So as a general, they are huge emitters of carbon and a huge issue for climate change and the environment. The solar panels um, have reduced our energy bills massively. Um, thing, something that we didn't think we could afford, but we've managed to access funds, made things accessible. Um, we've also been doing some grants for our boiler. We've got a diesel boiler that needs replacing, and that also will include all the pipe work. So what seems like absolute monster of a task, when you start breaking things down, things are achievable. To reach the 2030 target, a strategy has been created with our children and young people in mind. We've got to all get involved, we've got to get engaged, we've got to let the children be part of that journey. And informed by the Department for Education's sustainability strategy, to ensure we focus on creation care and the well-being of future generations. If we don't do it, then like other generations won't have like a good planet to um, experience it. All the wildlife will die, there will be no greenery and them. Um, that there won't be that it won't be a very safe place to live. For the next generation, um, we need to like take care of the earth because um, for like my children and for other people's children, it's going to be really hard. And if we don't take it back now, then there's going to just be a big problem. Tackling climate change witnesses to our communities that we are people who care about climate justice, that we hear young people and their concerns, and that we are taking action to ensure our beautiful planet can flourish, now and for the future. Schools, by their very nature, are high emitters of carbon. Older heating systems, high energy use and poor insulation can mean our schools emit lots of carbon into the atmosphere. One of our key uh, link governors has specific responsibility for areas around sustainability uh, and the green agenda. So we've just had all the lighting done in here uh, to LEDs. We've um, made sure that we don't have um, single-use plastics on site. We encourage children to use reusable water bottles. Our milk doesn't come in cartons anymore. We know the task of decarbonising a school can feel overwhelming. That's where the Church of England's Education Office can help. The new Energy and Building Self-Audit tool has been designed to assess school building energy efficiency and aid in crafting climate action plans. The first set of questions are general questions about the building and the school and the site, some of them to kind of help identify, some of them are about your electricity or your gas or oil supply or however your school is um, powered, some of them are about kind of solar panels and information like that and also some of them are just about how many blocks your school has. Then the second section of the form is much more about building fabric. So by building fabric we're talking about roofs, walls, windows, floors and kind of the, you know, the equivalent of the kind of the jacket of your school. By completing the audit, you gain insights and a starting point to reduce your school's carbon footprint while also engaging students in climate and environmental education. This is a toolkit. So are you going to help us? Yes, OK, because it's for the benefit for your school. The roof is a little bit redder than the walls. But the window is. But not much redder, yeah, exactly. Not much Nothing. is happening, it's a bit bluer. So that's another oh. another way to tell. You can touch it, just touch the face of it. Yeah. Oh, so it's warm. it's not hot, hot, but it's like warm. So we do a lot of touching things um, <laughs> like when we look at buildings because it's quite an easy way to tell what's going on. By gaining insight into your footprint and taking proactive steps, you can lower your bills and environmental impact. Our school spends about £16,000 per month uh, of electricity. Like the solar panels, if we can make changes that 
give you a better thing, save you money and also be sustainable, then, then that's great. I think um, starting off the journey um, using the audit tool is really helpful because it just makes you look at your building that you know really well but really question what have we got, what do we need, what could we do differently um, and that's really helped us in prioritising so the audit tool has been a big help for that. By 2030, the aspiration is for all schools to significantly decrease energy consumption and carbon emissions, fostering a thriving school community and showcasing dedication to creation care. We're going net zero carbon by 2030.